make a jet pack with fire coming out. And this one you can actually connect uh, to your body and wear it around. This is gonna use five balloons. I'm gonna start by making the canister where the uh, jet fuel is located. And this is one of the simplest parts. You blow it all the way up, leaving maybe a uh, two finger tail at the end. Give it a burp. This you're gonna split into four sections of equal length. One, two, uh, approximately this big, I'm gonna guesstimate. One, two, two and a half hands length. There's one length. There's two lengths. Take the knot, put it between the other two so they stay in place just like that. Now you're gonna come back up. Three. Take that third section and roll it through the other two. A couple times there. And then four. Just like this. And that last little piece, I can leave a little bubble at the end. Makes it a little easier to attach. So there's a little bubble. I'm just gonna spin it around all the others. Just like that. And this will be the canister. Now, I'm gonna make some fire coming out the bottom of the canister. In this case, I'm gonna use orange and red. You don't inflate it all the way up because that last portion of tail looks really nice for fire. And I'm gonna make two of them at the same size, approximately. Just like that, leaving a lot of tail at the end. I'm gonna connect the two fire colors by just little bubbles at the top, just like that. And now, taking the two fire colors, I'm gonna spin them around like this. See how I spin them around to make sort of that twisting, twisting effect? That's like the fire is spinning around itself. You're gonna go as far as you'd like. It doesn't matter how far. It depends on how much fire you like at the end. And then you're gonna connect it by pinching together, giving it a good twist. And then one more time, take both balloons, fold them over like a double pedal, right? So here we go. Take the two balloons, pinch them together like that, and twist. Which then, after some adjustment, you have the bottom of the fire. Just like that. Come up to the top. Now see these little fire nobbles? You're gonna connect it to the bottom of the canister. So it looks like the fire is coming right out of the canister by simply pushing the bubbles right between the canister a couple of times and then making it so it's two bubbles on either side of the canister. And now you have a canister with fire coming out of it. Now to make the harness part. Let's take your fourth balloon. And this one you're gonna, inf you're gonna inflate all the way up. All the way, but give it a good burp. So it softens just enough. It's still all the way up, but it's nice and soft. Take the canister and you're gonna wrap the whole canister around the balloons. Now, you want it to be in the middle so that the ends are pretty much the same length. And as you pull the ends together, make sure it's nice and tight because the only thing that's keeping this canister in place is how much tightness you're using. In this case, the blue balloon is pulling together really nice and tight. And once it's nice and tight, you're going to squeeze the blue ends together and give it a twist. Because that will make a nice and tight holder for the canister. Come on up. You're gonna make one ear twist using one of the sides of the, the balloon. The ear twist is a small bubble connecting the two ends. And this gives you a locked holster for the canister. 
Now we're going to connect these two ends to the part, the harness, that's going to go around your arms. I'm going to take another balloon. And you're going to blow it pretty much all the way up, leaving a tiny, tiny portion at the end there so that you can easily tie it together. Tie the ends together so it's one big loop. You're going to take the big loop and you're going to split it into two because this is where your arms are going to go. Take the knot and just wrap it in between and around, in between the loops and around so it doesn't come undone. And now you have your harness for where your arms are going to go. You take one end of the tent, you match, just wrap it around that little bubble, wrap it around a couple times so it doesn't come undone. You take the other end, same length, so they're nice and even, same length. Wrap the other end around a couple times. Just one, two, three. And now you have the jet pack. And on me, let's see if this works. You put one arm through here and the other arm through there. Oh, I'm too big. I think it'll fit you though. So basically, this is where your body is going to go. And you can take off in any direction you want with your jet pack. There you go.